In this video, I'm going to be reacting to a video posted by Pedro Dordash Santiago just yesterday about his deactivation from DoorDash. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know I've been deactivated from DoorDash many times, and I actually just got done doing a live stream, which you guys can check out if you'd like. But I had a lot of people asking me about this, so I figured, hey, I'll comment on it now and just give you guys my reaction. I haven't seen this video yet, and so this is just my live reaction to his deactivation. I got deactivated from DoorDash today after four years. Let's talk about it. We're not gonna play the victim. We're not gonna cry. I don't want your sympathy, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened because there's been a little bit of an update and uh, what you should not do, but also why I'm not worried about it. And I think this is a blessing in disguise. Welcome back to Mr. Ben on You. All right, I've been making DoorDash content for a little over three years now. I've been on the app for over four. To many people on YouTube, at least, and even in my community, I'm the DoorDash guy. I've been called DoorDash Jesus, DoorDash Jesus. I've been called a lot of things. But I am a guy that people get DoorDash information and content from, for and from. And they, they come here to get information or to be entertained. That's not going to happen anymore. I worked DoorDash this uh, morning, and late morning, early afternoon, came home, was going to go back out. Couldn't get on. Check my email. I got deactivated. Hold on. Let's see. We regret to inform you that your DoorDash... I guess it's just... I don't even know. I can't read that because it's cut off, but... I think I know why, and I'm going to tell you why in a moment. I'm going to tell you why most deactivations are just. And this deactivation is warranted. I literally asked for it when I made my video the other day talking about two miserable customers. I'm going to double down. Kamisha, Michelle, you suck. Somebody reported me. I put an appeal in. Nope, they said the incident did occur. I've been talking the real about DoorDash for three years now. I give the good, the bad, the ugly. I report on the programs. I talk about what works for me. I give you some perspective. I call DoorDash out. I give them praise. I've always done that. I've been the most consistent person in this space pretty much doing that. I don't pacify you. I tell you exactly what it is. I don't hold back. And DoorDash, I got to tell you, I've been going in on customers for a while, and I finally got caught. What happened was the video that I shared, I shared a message, and I've done this before on videos, that the customer sent me because she was not happy. I didn't make a replacement when she didn't have Let's see this. So Kamisha B. Oh, well, you couldn't even try to get anything else. Hell no, no tip. Get a real job, bookie. I think they meant brokey, but wow, that's actually a pretty, that's a, not the nicest customer. I've never had that happen to me before, which is crazy. But, wow. All right. Let's see. I didn't have any subs for the detergent at Dollar General. I didn't want to just pick something because some people like certain detergents. I drop it off. She sends me a message saying, I'm not going to give you no tip. You didn't send, you didn't give me, uh, you couldn't even substitute. Hell no, I'm not giving you a tip. You're a brokey. So she could kind of make fun of me. I hadn't said anything to her. Nothing. I've never been rude. Or, but I showed that message. And I think that's what happened because it had her first and last name in it. And I've never seen the last name in there before. I didn't catch it. My fault. I've always just seen the first name. So I'm assuming that that's what it is. I think somebody on YouTube reported me because there's no way that that customer saw it. Or maybe DoorDash happened to see it on their own. I did attribute them in the video. And I, the, the, the thumbnail said, deactivate me, please, for this. Because I went in on customers that give dashers a hard time. Because I believe when you have a platform like that and you're allowing customers to disrespect dashers, not tip them, and then leave them remarks like that, they don't deserve to use the platform. And maybe I don't deserve to use it to make money. I kind of agree with that. It seems like, now I don't know if there's a way actually, but I think there is. I would have to go in and check for sure. But I'm pretty sure there's a way you can report the customer and then that customer would have been deactivated instead of him 
because they would be using abusive language or I guess harassing essentially the dasher. If you report that, show the message, then that pro then that person would probably lose access to the DoorDash platform. But I get it. He was making content. I mean, that's what we do. We take things that we see on the road and we talk about it to you guys. And so I get why he did what he did. But especially if he's done that in the past, but just because it showed the first and last name, if that is where they caught him on that, then that that's rough. But let's let's keep going. Because I can be petty and I call people out and I'm okay with that. I stand by that 100%. 1,000%. I knew this day would come at some point, And I always thought, man, I, I kind of want it to happen. I've been talking about it for the last couple of months. I made the video, deactivate me, please. Like, I don't care. Maybe they saw that and said, okay, young man, you get what you want. Can't cry and complain about that. Do I agree with being deactivated for me showing that information? Technically, yes. If it's in the TOS, if it's against the community guidelines, deactivate me and anybody else all you want. Because most of us dashers do something at some point that can technically get you deactivated. So I'm not going to cry and whine and argue about it and say and play the victim. Not going to do it. I'm also not going to beg and grovel at DoorDash, please bring me back on. I don't need DoorDash to make money. You don't need DoorDash to make money. It can be helpful. It's an opportunity. I do agree with him on that, though, for sure. I mean... Because of my deactivations, I've learned to utilize the other apps and do a bunch of different things that I probably would have never done if I had just been on DoorDash the whole time. So I totally agree with that. I make way more money doing Uber, Lyft, or Uber Eats, Lyft, and Instacart. Well, and Uber Rideshare as well. But mixing all those apps together than I do from DoorDash, like way more, probably about one and a half to two times the amount that I make from just doing DoorDash. So it is an opportunity to make more money. Really, it is. I get really good at it in St. Louis, but this ain't the end. It's a food delivery app. And I will always stand my ground against these miserable customers because I believe, and it's my thought process, and it's my opinion, really actually is a fact, that if you don't tip a food delivery driver a server that gave you good service, if you don't show gratitude and kindness, you're a miserable human being. Point blank, period. Now, if you live in another country and it's not culturally part of your makeup of what you've grown up at, that's different. You live in America, you know tipping is a thing. You understand how people make money. So that makes you unkind or uneducated and definitely ignorant. Kamisha and Michelle, I'm doubling down. You guys are miserable human beings. And I said what I said. Do it. I, I don't know. To me, like the, the doubling down on that, in, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, it's just best to let it go. I mean, I'm sure he deals with hate comments all the time. And what you learn from being in the public eye, even if it's on a small platform, is you're always going to get hate. There's always going to be people that disapprove of things that you do or leave hateful comments. And in this case, a hateful message towards him. But I'm sure he knows this because he's been on YouTube for long enough that it's just best to let those things go. I still even have a hard time letting them go completely, but it's just what you got to do. And so I'm, I'm surprised, actually, that he's like doubling down on that when it's just, it, it's not worth the mental real estate to continuing that conversation or continuing to let that be in your head. It, in my opinion, it's just best to let it go. And I'm sure he knows that too. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just surprised that he wouldn't be quick to just let something like that go, especially being in the customer service business. I think he's been in it for a while um, with, I think he's had different restaurants and casinos and stuff like that, that he's done. Um, I, I don't remember exactly. So I could be wrong on that, but you're always going to have 
hateful customers or hateful comments and that you just got to let him go. So I, I'm just surprised that he didn't. That's just surprising to me. Odesh, you rejected my appeal. That's okay. Doesn't look like I'm going to be making any more money with you. If any more information comes out, if I get back on, if something else happens, I'll let you guys know. But at the end of the day, I got deactivated from DoorDash, and it was my fault. I'm not going to be like some other content creators that played a victim, and I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Pedro, I don't know what happened. Everybody knows what happened. You, In your gut, you know that it was probably this. Now, do I wish DoorDash would actually be more transparent? Absolutely. But there might, there might be reasons that they can't do that. They reported me. Or DoorDash saw the video. What do you think is more likely? Somebody reported me? Kamisha or Michelle saw it and were offended that I called them out of their names, but the truth hurts? Or do you think somebody reported me? So you got somebody reported me on YouTube because they don't like me. Kamisha or Michelle reported me because they're miserable. Or DoorDash saw the video and said... I don't know how someone from YouTube could report that. I mean, that's kind of confusing to me. I just don't see how someone who watches YouTube could send DoorDash his information or something like that and get him deactivated. Like, I don't think it was that. I assume someone from DoorDash probably saw it. That's what I would guess. Said, nope, we can't have that. I'm good with either one. Well, I'm not good with somebody reporting me because that's... I won't go there. But if DoorDash saw the video, they gave me exactly what I asked for. Can't complain there. Now, is it a little weird? Am I a little upset? Am I a little like, damn? Sure, if I'm being honest. But this ain't, it's a food delivery app. If I really wanted to get back on DoorDash, I could. Do I want to? I don't. I've been waiting for this day. I've been waiting to make this video. I went live earlier. I've been waiting for this. DoorDash, if anything, has been holding me back. A little, it's done a lot for me on YouTube, but even currently now where we're at, holding me black, holding me back long term, I think. I'm better than even the content I make sometimes. And I make good content here. I can do more. This is going to challenge me to do the things that I knew I should have been doing already even probably last year. I knew this day was coming. I knew this day was coming. I knew this was coming. I think subconsciously. I was asking for it. I, I, I was. I, I feel like I was. And I could have done other things. And I want to be clear. I never said anything to a customer that would be labeled as disrespectful or unsafe in, in person or in the chat. Never. I would never. I never had any issues with merchants, nothing like that. It was for somebody reporting me. They said in the email, somebody reported an incident. The incident had to be the one from two days ago where I called those two miserable people out of their name. The truth hurts, DoorDash. You have miserable customers on your platform that disrespect us dashers every single day, and you don't do anything about it, but take their side versus ours. All I did was thank a customer for their generous tip, even though they didn't leave one. But that's what's wrong with that? All I did was say, you're a great person, have a great day. But that last name thing, I think, is what got me. And somebody reported in the AI or the software. I don't even think human eye seen it. Because when I did the appeal, I got a response in 45 minutes. No way. You can't. Somebody's not. Ain't nobody sitting at a desk looking at it that quick. And they can investigate in 45 minutes. It was an automated response. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders in some ways. I can make money with other apps. And if I get deactivated off the, I mean, this is something, this is, I mean, it's been over 11,400 deliveries, never once got deactivated. But if it happens on other apps, it is what it is. We rebuild. We don't fold and cower and quit. We rebuild. I'll be back on the streets tomorrow with my deliver that, my Instacart, my curry if I need to. I could turn Uber Eats back on. Pedro Dores Santiago looks like is coming to an end. So basically my final thoughts on this are he probably did break some terms of service. Um, it is just, it's extremely annoying though that, like he said, you can do 11,400 deliveries for a platform 
be in good grace the entire time. He probably has 4.9 five-star customer rating and one little thing just gone. And I get for him, it's maybe not the biggest deal. He has his YouTube income. He has other apps he can use. But for someone who relies on DoorDash full-time, that's the only app that they're on or that's the only service in their area and they rely on it to feed their families and then you just get deactivated for no reason. Not for no reason, but for uh, a minor thing. We're at a normal job. If you did something that didn't agree with the rules of that job, then you would just get talked to by a manager or get a call, get a strike, something like that, where it's not the end all be all. It seems like for what he did, it would just be a contract violation. Like in my opinion, it should always, there should never be a random deactivation. It should be contract violations. So you should be able to, you should, this would have warranted a contract violation but he still has two more chances and eventually those contract violations drop off. I don't think DoorDash should have the right to just deactivate you completely. You should have to have three contract violations and those contract violations should drop off every month or more, maybe every six months or something like that to where it's not just random. You, Like he said, he went to go and DoorDash that night. He had just been dashing earlier that day, goes to go back out and it's deactivated. Like just seems like the whole deactivation process needs some work. But anyways, those are my thoughts on this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.